Oh my god, you guys. So the one thing that I noticed going all over Twitter and YouTube is KSI versus Logan Paul, KSI versus Logan Paul. Everything is about them right now. What I don't see is the fan's point of view. And considering I'm a fan, I think I'm pretty reliable to make this video. So be sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, and uh, I will do some more of these types of videos on them before August 25th, which is the huge fight that's gonna happen between them. And I'm super excited for it. Anyways, let's get right into the video. First question to the champ, all right? He's had to fight, fight with the you. champ. The champ, there's an asterisk there. The champ for a limited time only. You're barely the champ. You're barely the champ. We all champs, we all champs. All I'm right. sorry, I'm sorry, but I know you're colorblind, but I didn't know you had Tourette's as well. So the LA press conference, a complete fucking disaster. At one point in it, all the Pauls do is scream Walmart. I think it's for like almost a minute straight. But I'm pretty sure there was some background stuff that they weren't allowed to say at the press conferences that, uh, you know, they signed paperwork to not say it and stuff like that. So the comebacks and stuff were not that good, such as KSI claiming that Logan has Tourette's for some reason. And of course, because they're big influencers on the internet, they didn't want to offend anybody with the things that they said. So, you know, they just had to kind of take it back a little bit. Logan knows that his fan base is super young. He knows. So he's trying to watch his language throughout the whole press conference, which makes it 10 times more lame. Honestly, press conferences probably get a two out of 10 for me. The challenger, Logan Paul. As for the press conference in Manchester, I don't really have to speak much on that considering everybody has, but KSI just completely demolished Logan Paul in my opinion. KSI came in completely prepared like the Pauls thought they did in LA. The only difference is Logan and Jake don't know that they don't have fans outside of the west coast of the United States of America. Literally, their fan base, if you look at their demographics, is a majority in California, Oregon, and Washington. It's all up that west coast. And then parts of the United States of America, certain parts of it have like a huge massive fan base and of course little spurts every once in a while throughout the United States, but it's only in the United States. Everywhere else in the world, they're hated. There's probably a few parts of the world that you know people like them if you look at their demographics but other than that they're pretty much hated throughout the whole world so when they go to a different country they expect people to treat them like they're treated in california but oh no uk wasn't having it today i'll tell you what and i do not support what the uh fans did kicking the cars and stuff like that uh logan jake their father that one dude who paints stuff i don't i don't, forgot his fucking name they all blamed ksi and deji for telling telling quote unquote their fans to uh attack them after the press conference when really ksi and deji got attacked too ksi and deji got their cars all fucked up people were throwing paint cans everything it was just insane fuck you logan Fuck you, Logan! Fuck you, Logan! Is that lip quivering? Hey! Is that lip? How's that lip? Hey, I would love to sit here and answer your questions. I feel like KSI addressed everything. Finding them out. I'll see you August 25th. Where are you going, bro? But then, Logan goes home and starts up a whole new drama scene with a video he released titled, Dear KSI, Here's Why I Left the Press Conference. Woo! Goddamn! If you thought the last press conference was a disaster, this one was a major disaster. So, at this point in the video, I'm just getting tired of talking over and re-explaining things from a fan's point of view. So, I'm just gonna do this chronologically with... Logan and KSI's videos. Uh, if you guys didn't know, KSI released a video the other day, um, pretty much debunking everything that Logan said. And originally when I heard Logan's video, I was like, oh man, I actually feel bad. I'm rooting for Logan now. But then KSI came out with this video and exposed Logan from trying to manipulate his audience. And now I'm back with KSI. So uh, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Start off on a little bit of a lighter note. What's poppin', low gang? Holy sh! 
<laughs> anyway, so then I'm asking myself, why? What, what made these fans so aggressive and so violent? And then I remembered, Deji told them to be. You can go out and find them in London. If you do, do what, do what you want. I don't care. This, ladies and gentlemen, is an example of Americans not understanding sarcasm. Manipulation at its finest. If you're not a part of the Low Gang, make sure to subscribe. Hit that button, join the fam bam. And Low Gang, I will see you next time. Take it easy, fam. Peace! By the way, that was sarcasm.